You know, I hope by now you've listened to me long enough to know that I'm not a sensationalist, right? I'm not going to sit here and make predictions about what's going to happen in the future or any of those things. But I want to talk tonight. It's at 10, 18 p.m. Central Time on March 3rd, 2021. And I just want to talk from my heart and take it for what you will. And uh, it's just something that's inside of me that, uh, that I think is important. For the last four or five days, uh, and I've, I've expressed this in, in videos um, yesterday and on Sunday, I've felt a huge disconnect with this world a huge disconnect like I've never felt in my life and it's almost to the point where um, when I go out in public it's it's not my world at all I can't even pretend it's my world and on top of that when I listen to the news or look at the media or social media or any of that stuff. I see things that are the most ridiculous shit I have ever seen in my life. And it's being reported by mainstream quote unquote sources. And that's the world that we live in. That's the world that we live in. You know, I think, for me, since the pandemic became a thing in early 2020, I think, you know, I've been really shielded from it. I've been really shielded from it in my life. And I haven't really had to, to face it full force. And in the last few days, I have. I've seen it. I've seen it, finally. With my own eyes, what this black magic spell has done to the world. And it is... It is the most despicable thing I've ever seen in my life. I can't believe the things that people are believing as truth it's as though we're a bunch of helpless kindergartners a bunch of helpless five-year-old kindergartners that can't navigate their way to and from the fucking bathroom and what the hell is that you know i keep telling you you know i'm a believer in Yahweh, <laughs> the almighty, right? And I also swear a lot. And I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. But what I see in this world, what I see in this world, man, it is, uh, what is the word? You know, there is no word. There is no word to describe what this world has been turned into. Holy cow, that's a loud train. I wonder if you can hear that on the microphone. There is no word to describe what this world has been turned into. <laughs> and, oh, I, and, and as much as I sit here, as much as I sit here and I try to process and comprehend and rationalize what's happened to this world, I can't do it. I can't get there. It's incomprehensible. There's no rationale. There's no sense. There's no common sense. There's no way that I can, I can string 10 words together in my head that'll make it all make sense to me because it doesn't and it hasn't since day one. And yet I look around the world and I'm like, I'm nobody special. I'm nobody special. You know, 
And I look around the world and I, I'm like, how is everybody else going along with this? How did that happen? How did that happen? It doesn't make sense to me. You know, I, I, I'm a logical person. I'm a logical person. One of my favorite songs of all time is Super Tramp, the logical song. Listen to Super Tramp, the logical song. That's how I am, you know. I string A to B, and I draw the line, and it makes sense. And no matter what I do, for the last year, almost, what is today, March 3rd, almost March 4th, man. It's March 13th of last year. Ah, uh, no matter what I do, there's no way to draw a line of common sense to what's happened to this world in one year. In one year. You know, you think about all the years of your life and how fast those years have flown by and nothing ever changed. It was always the same thing year after year after year after year. And all of a sudden, bam, your whole life gets turned upside down. And, uh, and you sit there and you try to figure it out. And see, I think, I really think, all of us, no matter how awake we are, you know, no matter how awake we are or unawake we are or lost we are, any of those things, after the year we've lived through, after what, what these people have put us through, I think we all suffer from a certain degree of post-traumatic stress syndrome. We do. Yeah, I've lived through it in my life, in my life, personally, things I've been through. And I have suffered PTSD, and I know what it feels like. And I'm telling you, this last year has been that on a, on a worldwide scale. So it's okay if you don't feel okay sometimes. It's okay if, if uh, some days you wake up and shit just ain't right. Uh, it's okay. It has nothing to do with being holy or I'm not in God enough or, or whatever that may be. You know, I, uh, me personally, I've never loved my creator more than I do right now. And I can simultaneously say I've had some of the hardest struggles in my life of overcoming certain things in my life that I've had right now. And, and one of those things is, uh, <laughs> is acceptance, acceptance of, of reality, of, of reality and what it is. So I think what I'm seeing very clearly from Yahweh, my creator, is that like I said, I'm not a sensationalist. Something major is about to happen. And I wouldn't say that if I wasn't sure of it. Um, we're in a weird position right now where everything is clown world. It's absolute clown world. Uh, the, 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 the things that the government in the U.S. is pushing out is insanity. And 95% and of the people in the world would never go for it. It's just crazy. And they're making you feel, they're making you feel like that's the mainstream position, but it's not. And, uh, you know, you, uh, the reality of the situation the reality of the situation is that the people in control of this world don't really give a shit about you anymore. You've served your purpose. Your time is over. And that's how they feel. Now that doesn't mean that we should go out with metal protectors and start making noise, right? We shouldn't do that. That has nothing to do with anything at all. What I'm telling you, though, is that everything you're looking at right now in the media, in the social media, 
with the uh, big channels that you follow and the influencers that I'm, I'm now clearly seeing through these big channel influencers that are all a bunch of bullshit. Just, just spreading, uh, spreading fear, just spreading fear, you know? I'm so sick of it. I, I would name them right now, but I don't even give a shit. I'm, I'm tired of it. You know, I, you know, you know what pisses me off? I'm just, I'm just slinging from the heart tonight. You know what pisses me off? I got an email a few days ago, uh, a couple of them, from someone that uh, thinks that I'm some sort of agent or something like that. How can you do this for free? How could you possibly? You know what? <laughs> if you knew anything about my life, if you knew anything about what I've lived through and why I'm doing what I'm doing now, it's just, it angers me. And I'm sorry for that. You know, I don't want to be, but I'm just telling you, man, like I, I'm coming from my heart. with Everything I've said from day one until now. And I, and I need to tell you right now, some major, major stuff is about to go down. Major. I don't know a date. I'm not going to name a date. But I know that what we're about to face is something that's going to blindside us, blindside us. And um, everything we look at now as quote unquote mainstream reality is a decoy. It's all a decoy. They're pushing the ridiculousness as far as they can to see how far they can push, you know, the, the consciousness of humanity towards insanity because that's where they're going. I mean, literally, the entire world is a psycho ward. The entire world is a psycho ward. <laughs> what else can I say? It's a psycho ward. You know, they got rid of the psych, you know, the, the, the mental hospitals and all that. They basically got rid of those in the 90s. And then all of those, uh, those psychotic people turned into... Straight up tell you, the LGBTQ community, right? That's what happened. It really is. Sorry to be on PC, but you know what? F it. I'm done. You know, I'm done. I'm done with being PC. It's bullshit. And so when they got rid of the... <laughs> got rid of the insane asylums, because we used to have those. That used to be a thing. In this world were insane asylums and you put the insane people away in the insane asylums because they sure didn't belong in society. <laughs> and now we live in a world where the insane asylum is running it, is running the whole world. <laughs> it's true. That's where we live. And if you can't see it, I don't want to talk to you. You're a moron. You're a moron. I'm sorry, you are. If you spent a year in this world and you still think this reality is reality and that's what you need to follow, you're a f moron. <laughs> you just are. <laughs> You've had every chance in the world to understand what's actually going on. You've been exposed to the information over and over and over again and you still sit there thinking this is reality. It's reality TV. And the world has been turned in to exactly that. A big reality TV screen. <laughs> I don't know how you can't see it if you don't. But this decoy that they've been running on us, really, for a year... Um, It's not the end game. It's not at all. And I encourage you right now tonight to go back into the very beginning of this entire channel, which initially was Beast System Revealed and got canceled in December. And now it's me now, Revelation Free Radio. Go back at avoidthemark.com and click on the menu, click on where it says Mark of the Beast and click on the mark of the beast isn't what you think. 
going to read that article or listen to the video. The article is more detailed. The video is a little more high level. It's as relevant today as it's ever been. And that's the end game. It's always been the end game. Uh, Yahweh gave me that revelation on that article in uh, a few days after COVID started last year. And I published it on March 17th. It's been seen by tens of millions of people, still tens of thousands every single day read that article. And, and I know that the message must resonate because of that. <laughs> it was one of those things where, where God just gave me one word and said, do one thing. And, uh, and he took it from there. But the message in that article is as, as relevant today as it's ever been. Because everything we're looking at with the bad Don, Joe Biden, and the lotus flower, Kamala, and the big Mr. T hiding in the wings, uh, it's all a show. And they're getting ready for the crescendo. The Isle of Man is very important. And this morning, I saw that for the third time, the Isle of Man has been shut down. And it's important to understand that the entire reality we're playing out right now stems from genealogy and history and exactly what played out in the Isle of Man in the 1200s with Olaf the Black, which is the big Mr. T's direct descendant and the Bidden family and what happened there. And I don't get into it because as soon as I start talking about it, my videos get taken down. I've had three videos taken down about this exact subject. So that tells you it's important, okay? So I, it's hard to talk about it. The only thing I can do is point you to... Uh, um, uh, enter the stars channel enter the stars channel and go back a few months and start listening to what's going on with the Isle of Man he still might be talking about it I don't know I don't listen to YouTube videos anymore I just kind of keep to myself and, and, and worship my creator and, and, uh, and try to uh, try to get my life prepared for what's coming because it is but uh, go back in, into the Isle of Man and look at what happened there with Olaf the Black, the Bidden family, and the Lotus Flower, Kamala. And you'll see that they're playing out the same scenario. And so this morning I see that Isle of Man has been shut down for the third time. They do it perfectly, perfectly in sequence. Um, I believe that these shutdowns, these official, official, quote-unquote, shutdowns, have begun each time with the shutdown of the Isle of Man because it's the bat signal for everything that's going on. Just, just, just do some Google searching on the Isle of Man. Do some Google searching on Olaf the Black and his direct descendant, the big Mr. T., and, and the Bidden family and the Lotus Flower, Kamala, and you'll see how they're playing it all out. It's, it's really obvious. Uh, and, and, uh, <laughs> but I think they have some surprises. I think they have some surprises. I do. Uh, you know, it's, it's easy to let our guard down because <clears throat> the ridiculousness of what they're showing us with the agenda is is uh, is laughable. There's so many things like I don't I can't even think of an example right now. It's just like one thing after after another that's just laughable. It, it, like nobody's going for this stuff. Nobody's believing this stuff. And and why is the military still in D.C. and and you know like what is this? Like obviously America's dead. It's over. It's done. It's gone. So what's next? Well, we're, st we're, we're just sitting here like in our little bubbles trying to, uh, trying to operate and function and do what we do. But I think from what I've been seeing, a lot of people are feeling what I'm feeling this week. And it's a lot of evil. It's a lot of evil. It's a lot of evil. It's thick in the air. 
And the situation I'm in right now uh, is, it was beautiful, beautiful, perfect for three, four, five days. And all of a sudden it's just bam, you know, spiritual attack after spiritual attack. And, uh, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'm 100% sure of that. I'm not the only one that this week is, is feeling spiritual attacks in ways that, uh, that you're not familiar with. Or maybe you're really familiar with, but they're even more powerful and potent than they used to be. That's kind of where I've been at. You know, just in the last 24 to, to 36 hours, just I realized like all this weirdness and, and craziness happening around me is, is all spiritual attacks. And as soon as I realized that, I'm like, whoa, hold on hold on, you know, hold on, go back to Yahweh. And he protects us. He protects us from that because we're under like this black magic spell. And, and you don't think that the people behind that are trying to cast it on you and me. Of course they are. Of course they are. They're so evil. You know, we, we can't sit here and, and even comprehend the levels of evil that these people operate in. We can't. I remember <laughs> last, uh, I don't know, last summer sometime when I was, you know, riding high in my Beast System Reveal channel and, you know, tens and tens and tens and tens and tens of thousands of subscribers and, it's, you know, going to live stream and I got a thousand listeners and, and I had this one guy one night, this one guy one night on a live stream I was doing, and he was just blasting me in the live chat. Why don't you ever talk about child pedophilia? Why don't you ever talk about, you know, uh, I, I can't say the word, I guess, P-I-Z-Z-A-G-A-T-E, you know. Why, why don't you ever talk about that? Why don't you ever, you think I don't know about that stuff? Are you kidding me? I've dug all into that. And, and the, the problem with the whole 17th letter of the alphabet, a non-nonsense, is that that's truth in there. That happens. It happens all the time. I was, I was a kid in the 80s. You got to understand. I was a kid in the 80s. And I went to school every day. And I got a carton of milk two or three times a day. And every time I had a carton of milk, every carton of milk showed me a missing child on it. Every single time. And I was like, okay, no adults are getting these cartons of milk. Just the kids. Like, why are they always showing me missing kids? And I literally thought that in like the second grade. So I know what's been going on forever. In fact, a friend of mine in the second grade disappeared. She disappeared. So I know that shit goes on. You think I'm stupid? <laughs> what am I going to do? Talk about that all day? What, uh, what benefit is that? What benefit is that? You know? Okay, so you know. So you know. What are you doing to stop it? Can you stop it? Is it possible? Are you just going to complain about it all the time? You know, so I remember this guy who was just blasting me, blasting me, blasting me. Like, if you don't call this stuff out, you're just, you know, you're just part of the problem and all that. Come on, God. <laughs> come on, man, you know, <laughs> Jack. Come on, Jack, I, I, with Joe Biden. I don't know why. Every time he's got that crooked smile, I always think he's saying Jack. I don't know why he's like, Jack. But uh, this is my weirdness. But, uh, yeah, like, he just was blasting me about that. And, and I'm sitting there, and I never replied. I never said anything. I ended up having to, bl having to block him because he was so, you know, so out of control. But but I'm like, man, this guy's raging. And I understand it. Like, that kind of thing is, is, is unimaginable, what they do. And I get it. I understand it. I processed it years and years and years ago when I knew what was going on. And it's real. It's true. Um, but the 17th letter of the alphabet, a non-nonsense has made it into a joke. And that was the whole point, <laughs> you know, uh, Megan Kelly and, uh, the hell was his name back in 2017, James, James Elephantis. Remember that? Remember that interview with the P I Z Z A G A T E, you know, and, and, and Megan Kelly had, uh, Elephantis on her show on, on Fox news. And it just threw him softball questions. 
you know, I dug deeper into it at that point personally. I just dug in myself. I, I didn't look for YouTube videos. I just went straight to the source. And and I went to the Elephantus Instagram and I looked through it with my own eyes. And I went through the Elephantus, uh, you know, Facebook and all that. And it was filth. It was garbage. And so I called them out on it one day. No, I did. It's what I do. I, I You know, I'm not afraid of anybody because they're all a bunch of pukes, you know. And so one day I was I was sitting at home and I was like I said I've always been a nobody but but I was sitting at home and all this stuff had broken out and and I just messaged him on Facebook. He had a you know a regular Facebook account at the time and you could just send an instant message and I sent him a message and uh, and and him and I had a little discussion. <laughs> we did. Uh Mr. Elephantus and uh yeah, he gave me some threats and uh oh here I still am. What was that? Big J, what was that, uh, five years ago? Yeah, you know, here I still am, so I guess that didn't work out, you know. But I did. I called him out directly to him, and, and he replied to me, and we had a conversation. He said, don't, don't talk to me about um, not understanding that, that side of the world. I totally get it. it. It's part of it, but it's it's unfortunately just a small part of the evils that have been perpetrated on humanity, <laughs> that we're, we're trying to escape right now. And there's so few of us that see it. There's so few of us that see what we need to escape. There's so few, there's so few, there's so few. It's, man, it's sad, it's sad how few of us there are, but I'm glad to be talking to you, I'll tell you that much. You know, I don't have a huge point to this video. I just kind of wanted to talk tonight and, and hope, uh, hope that what I'm feeling, you're feeling. But I think that, uh, you know, I, I follow somebody on Twitter and he goes by Michael. It's, uh, it's at Jonah of Nineveh. I saw him post a few days ago. Uh, he's, a, he's a Catholic. He's a Catholic. And I, I don't want to speak for him. If, if he, you know, Michael, if you hear this video, I don't, I'm not trying to speak for you, but. Uh, you, see, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't have much of an affinity toward Catholics in general, uh, but there's a select few, you know, that, that, uh, that, that seem to really understand Yahweh and, and our Creator and who He is, and, 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 and Michael, and there's, you know, several that I, that I follow. There's great people, great people, great people. I wish I knew in person, you know, I really do. Uh, but he, he, uh, he's not an alarmist at all. He's a very level-headed man. Uh, posted a few things about what the Pope is up to uh, coming up here in the next few days. And he's very concerned by it. He's very concerned. Very, very concerned. And if he's concerned, I'm concerned because he's, uh, he's in touch with our Creator in a, way, in a way that I'm not. I know he is. I know he is, for sure. Um, so I don't know what that means exactly. Uh, I've, I've given a lot of, uh, of, of instruction on my channel in the last few months about what I fear might be coming. It's not what we're looking at now. It's a decoy. 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 I promise you everything you're looking at right now is a big raging decoy and the real deal is going to hit soon. I'll remind you of the story I told a few days ago about the Leviathan. The Leviathan. And last March, God spoke to me and said, what's coming is like a Leviathan. It, it's very slow moving. Very slow moving. And it takes a long time to get into position. A long time. But when it does, and when it strikes, it strikes with the full force. And that's what we're, uh, that's what we're facing. So I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you as much as I can right now be strong in the Lord. See, that's all that's going to get us through this.
promise you, it's all. It's all. We can't have one toe in the world. We can't have one toe in the world. You know, I'm making this video on March 3rd of 2021, and I just felt for a minute this might be for the future. I'm not sure, but it might be for now. I don't know. There's a reason I'm making this video tonight because if, if, uh, if, you know, my, my day has not been conducive to ending it by making a video, okay, at all. So uh, there's a reason I needed to make this tonight. The heaviness in the air is, uh, is real. It's real. It's real. Uh, I, I haven't felt connected to this world in, in four to five days. And normally when that happens to me, something major happens. So, uh, you know, I, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm 100% wrong. But then I ask myself, what's the end game? <laughs> like the world just getting, it, it just keeps getting worse and 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 stupider and stupider and stupider. So, uh, you know, maybe it's time for the end game. <laughs> maybe it's time we face the real deal. And you know what? Maybe we're ready. <laughs> maybe we're ready for that. Ever think of that? Maybe we're ready, right? I think we are. I think we are. Anyway, I hope this this video meant something to you tonight. I, I man, I, I'm telling you, it's just something in my heart, something in my soul. It's just something isn't right. Something isn't right. I think you feel it too. Something isn't right, and uh, I think we should get on our faces. That's what I'm gonna do as soon as I click stop on this. Uh, uh, seriously. As soon as I click stop on this record, I'm going to hit my face on the ground. Beg my creator to protect us from any plans of the enemy. Because they're wicked right now. They're wicked. The plans of the enemy are wicked. And they are casting spells on you. And you need to hit your face on the, on the ground. I know you do because I know I do. I know I do. Man, but our God is so mighty. I, I hope you feel how mighty our God is. Oh, the way he, uh, he flows through his people when we need him. It's like nothing else in the world. Nothing can replace it. Nothing can replace the power of the almighty. If you've never met him, if you've never met your creator, oh man, you and I need to talk. <laughs> if you've been stuck in some weird kind of spiritual thing and you don't really know what the hell you're doing and you're, you're talking about chakras and all these other things and, and the pineal gland and DMT and all of that, uh, we need to talk. You need to email me. You need to email me personally and I'll talk with you about who our creator is oh and nothing in this world can compare nothing because he made it all do you understand that he made all of that nonsense you're listening to that's all been twisted it's all been twisted by an enemy that hates you by a spiritual enemy that hates you that's convinced you that he loves you, but he actually hates you. Your creator is who loves you. And he created you because of that exact reason. Love. And when we, when we really start understanding who we are in him. And that we're made in his image. The almighty creator. We're made in his image. We have that power in him. And we can't skip steps. We can't skip steps. When we understand that and start tuning in, tuning in. There's a reason they call it tuning because it's frequency, tune, frequency. When we start tuning in to our creator, oh, you'll never experience anything like that in your life. I promise you. 
It's all that's going to get you through this mess that you know is a mess. And uh, there ain't no big Mr. T that's going to save you. Period. It's you. It's your creator. And it's the people you love. And that's all you've got. I'm telling you. So you better get straight with your creator. And the way to do that is to lay down your life. Lay it down. What is it? What is your life? What has it been? What has it become? What are you holding on to anymore? Because for me, for 44 years, I battled and battled and battled and battled and did all the right things that I could possibly do as best as I could. And I ended up with a pile of nothing. And so I laid, I finally, after running away from God for 25 years, said, I'm done. Me, done. I'm worthless. I want to serve my creator. And why wouldn't I? You're smart enough to create all of this, <laughs> including this thing that I walk around in all day and this consciousness that I have and you made that out of nothing? How can I not serve you and worship you for who you are? Man, I, I encourage you to go back into some of my recent podcasts. Listen to who Yahweh is. Yahweh. 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 You know, people say, God, God, God. Oh, God this and God that and God bless America and you know, God, 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 that's not the God. That's not, that's the God of this world. The Bible explicitly states the God of this world is Lucifer. That's who's running the show. That's who's running the ship. He was thrown down and given dominion over this earth. Not dominion, but given, given run of this earth to try to tempt us for thousands of years. And I think there's a small remnant of us that have been extremely chiseled by that in God to understand why we're actually here, which has nothing to do with anything in this world. The Bible says, come out of the world, come out of it, come out, my people, my people, come out, man. Why have we never heard that message until now? Why did it have to get this messy for us to finally understand what coming out of the world meant? But now we have to. We have no other choice. We have no other choice. Try to go into it. Try to go into it like a normal human being. You can't anymore. It's done. It's over. Oh, yeah. Texas is opening up next Wednesday. <laughs> next Wednesday? Are you kidding me? It's a week away. Anything can happen. And on top of that, even if it doesn't, it's just another way for people to fight. Because now you've got the masked people and you've got the non-masked people and you've got the, you know, the blue and the red and all that. And they just start to rage. They just start to rage against each other. And they don't even know why. It's just red against blue. And you're blue and I'm red. And yeah, it's so stupid. So stupid. Wake the hell up from that. I'm so sick of seeing those. I, I said earlier today, I was like, I can't believe that people are still believing the nonsense coming out of these Trump, these big Trump influencer accounts. Like, come on, man. That money's old. That money is dried up, Matt Couch. That money's dried up, Matt Couch. Yeah, I'm calling you out. You're a problem. deceiving people you're deceiving people for cash it's sick 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 yeah i tried to help but whatever man do your thing um this is so much deception you know so much deception and it's it's hard it's it, you know you can't even sort through the deception anymore it's so deep now the deception is so deep. What do you even do to sort through it? How do you how do you approach somebody anymore and say, um, "Yeah, I think this whole thing is a lie." 
you know, we're so far past that. The, 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 the double, triple, quadruple down of the media and social media and all that with this agenda is just, it's overwhelmed society. It's overwhelmed it. And, uh, you know, I saw, it was, it was really nice. I, I was, I, I, I sometimes, I rarely do it. I, I suck at this, but, you know, earlier tonight I was just looking through some of the comments on, on my, my recent videos here on YouTube and, and I just saw some really encouraging things and, and somebody was talking about how, you know, she's sure there's a lot more people listening to me than, than I think, you know, just encouraging stuff, which means so much to me. It really does. Uh, I think that was uh, Kim, Kim, Kim said that I read that whole comment. I, I liked it. Um, you know, on, on YouTube, I, I hit the like, you know, the little heart thing or whatever. Uh, but no, that meant more to me than that. It, it did. I needed to hear that tonight because, uh, because uh, it's just, you know, I, I feel like I'm, I'm screaming into a canyon and all I hear back is my own echo, you know? Uh, and, and, and I have, I have such a heart. Um, I, I don't say this to sound boastful. I don't mean that at all. I just, this is something God gave me. He just did uh, ever since I was, I was a child and, uh, it was a heart for, for you, you know, for you, for you individually. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a long life. <laughs> As I'm sure it's been for you too. And uh, I've never had a more rewarding uh, experience in my life than the last year of, of having the opportunity to, to hear from people and talk to people and read messages and things like that of lives that I've touched, <laughs> you know. Sorry, I'm a big sap. I'm trying not to cry right now. It's stupid, but try not to cry. It's stupid, but um, it's just meant so much to me. And I know there's uh, there's there's some people that that have been listening to me for like a year, and that's crazy to me because I wouldn't want to listen to me for ten minutes, let alone a year. Uh, you guys are really special <laughs> to me. You really are. You really are. You're really special. Uh, you, you've you've been a part of my life. I know your names. I see them all the time. You know, I I miss the days of my big channel. You know, where I'd see all the names all the time, and I knew them all. You know, and uh, you know, we talk on the side and things like that. I miss that, but. But even now, you know, it's like I, I see the names and I see the same names. It's like you guys are so special to me. And if if uh, if things get weird and, uh, you know, this stuff isn't available anymore, I just want you to know that. I want you to know that. That you've been special <laughs> to me. So feel so stupid. But I'm not going to edit this because I always say I don't edit, right? <laughs> I feel stupid for crying. So I know it's dumb, but. Anyway, uh, I guess I've been babbling long enough. I don't I have no idea what I'm going to call this video. I think I'm going to call this the Babble Ramble Fest. I don't know. Uh, I think maybe it had some point. I hope it did. <laughs> I, I never know until I re-listen. But anyway, uh, head over to Revelation Free Radio and, and, and check out my, my radio station if you haven't. It's, it's really pretty cool. It's got some really good music and all my podcasts. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, head on over to avoidthemark.com slash podcast to listen to all of my podcasts anytime, uh, anywhere, on any device. Again, it's avoidthemark.com slash podcast. I hope you guys have a great night for the rest of the night tonight. And, and I, I didn't mean to scare you with anything. I just, I feel some stuff, you know, I feel some stuff and I just wanted to put it out there. So um, I, I hope the, the, the peace and glory of our almighty creator is on you tonight. And I wish you nothing but a night and early morning of peace.